I really wanted a home theater and I really wanted to be able to enjoy movies at home. This might be the only wall that you'd be able to put a TV in. And then the whole front, all windows, and then the back, all windows, and then it's the dining room, and then it's the kitchen. So in reality, that there is pretty much the only wall that you'd really be able to do it. But then all the seats would be facing towards the wall instead of out to where the views are. There and through the side. So you could put a TV that right there and block the windows, but I'm gonna show you what I did. I had this screen, which is 100 inches, so what I did is I mounted it upside down, but in order to hide it, I wanted to build some sort of valance. And here I was trying to see if I wanted it to overhang on the outside or tuck it right into the middle. And I built this the same way I made my headboard. So if you watch that video, you can see how this is done. And you basically use these L brackets to screw it in to the studs that are in the ceiling. And I went with doing it on the inside. I think it looks better. I keep this hook um, behind the speaker and I use it to pull the screen down and put it up so it's tucked away under that new valance. And it makes it easy to bring it down. I had this screen and it was made to go on a stand and it's a hundred inches and it's almost a bit too small as you'll see early, uh, in a little bit. So we made this custom, I designed the, the uh, media center and my friend built it and it, the projector is stored on a shelf that you can see gets pulled out and then propped up. And what I do is I tie a, I have like a little camping line with a carabiner that um, holds tight and I use it to pull the screen down a little bit more and keep the projector from moving on the slideable shelf. And so once that's set up, you want to actually have it as close into the screen as possible because otherwise it just goes outside the borders of the screen. And that's why I feel like I need a slightly bigger screen. The projector I'm using is a Vava, as you can see on that startup. And I have it linked through a Yamaha surround sound receiver. And I also have Apple TV. So I have everything plugged into the receiver and there's only one out to the projector that uses an HDMI cable. One thing I like about this projector is that it's laser. So even though this room is completely lit up right now, it's the afternoon, you can still easily see the screen. And at night, it is just so clean and crisp. It's really great. And you don't have to replace the bulbs because it, uh, because it uses laser for the light. And we have all the accounts in here and you can go through different ones. Uh, desert skate and the arches and the hoodoos and all that stuff. But... So how we make this? We have a the receiver there, the center channel speakers right there. Apple TV's on top of the power bank. We have subwoofer down there, the two towers on the side, which were kind of obvious. And then I wired this recently, but we have a rear channel speaker there and a rear channel speaker there. So it's nice because when you're working in here and have the stereo on, you have a nice sound all the way around in the kitchen and everything. And this screen is one screen I had and I built that valance to, of course, to hide the screen and the, the other window covering box back there. 
and it matches the headboard. If you haven't seen the headboard video, it's the same material, same method. And we custom made, well, I didn't custom make it. I designed it and my friend Arnie built the cabinetry and I'm supposed to put a um, material like quarter inch thick, like Corian or uh, artificial granite type of material on the top. Haven't gotten to that part yet, but the, the projector sits inside this drawer when not in use and it pops up on these hinges, which you saw me put up and it's on a slide so it can come back over. And right now this is as far up as I can get it and it's too big for this screen. It's not close enough to the screen, but for watching movies, you have a tiny bit hanging off on the left and that's not a big deal, but it is, um, I might have to get a bigger screen and this is a hundred inches and the projectors, the actual screen, um, projector lens is right there and you can see how close it is to the screen and it's not close enough to fit the hundred inches on the screen so there's a little bit of tweaks left um, it's super bright this projector is super impressive very very impressive it's called a Vava um, it is la driven by a laser instead of an LED type of bulb that would need replacing. It is very bright. I know here in the daylight, this is mid afternoon, so there's a lot of light coming through and you could comfortably watch something. It may not be as clear and crisp as, you know, a OLED TV or something, but I do have plans to put blackout screens in this. Also, it'll add some insulation because that's a lot of windows in there to be open. And that would, make it plenty dark enough and so that's how i got a nice home theater from a very small living space